When you need serious journalism, you turn to KPBS. From elections to wildfires, KPBS has been here for you. Right now, we'd like to remind you about the essential service we provide this community by taking you back to the reporting we provided during last year's crisis. Here's more. San Diego police are reporting a string of assaults downtown today. At least a dozen victims appear to be suffering from bite wounds. Six of today's victims are now missing from the morgue. I spoke to a janitor who claims he saw one of the deceased walking out the front door. Kevin, I understand you recently suffered one of these bite attacks. Can you tell us what happened? When San Diego was invaded by the living dead, KPBS was on the scene, giving you the latest in breaking news. Fights are breaking out on multiple freeways, all of them traffic now at a complete standstill. This is not the result of rage-infected monkeys. When you give to KPBS, you're not just making it possible for us to bring you fascinating interviews with people in San Diego. Thanks to your support, we have always been here when you needed us most. CDC confirmed that the dead are rising from the grave. There are reports that corpses have been seen moving through downtown in large groups. The invasion is spreading rapidly. I encountered a group of 20 in El Cajon. I received a small bite, but I feel fine and will continue to report. The dead are rising in craving human brains. Stay tuned to KPBS Evening Edition for more news and analysis on the undead. At KPBS, we welcome your support in any amount. A contribution of 5 or $10 will go a long way in helping us prepare our news department for the next zombie invasion. But if you can step up to a contribution of $120 or a sustaining membership of $10 a month, then you can ask for the Eton Emergency Radio. This hand-cranked radio will keep your family connected to KPBS when the dead rise from the earth once more. So pick the level that works for you and give now at kpbs.org slash zombie.